Hello, 5 Minute Friday, number 15, and today we're going to be tramming the milling head. So before we get started on that, let's have a look at all the different ways that this head can be offset. First, we're going to need to unbolt the four on the front and following that then we can get onto the adjusting bolt on the side which is going to index the head round. The first check we're going to do is make sure that zero lines up so we're bringing it roughly in line. To do this operation we're going to use this um, this tramming bar uh, it's a custom made item although you can purchase ones um, for this purpose they tend to be a bit smaller and have two DTIs on this is a nice unit um, because not only is it adjustable it's got a couple of the slots on there but also it's really really long so you're taking the measurement across a wide area bed so if you're getting a good reading across this sort of uh, machine envelope then you can bet yourself that the small area that you generally use in the uh, on the on the job is going to be absolutely plumb now that we've got the head roughly aligned using the scale on the side we're going to bring the bed up to meet the dti and also make sure that the gearbox is knocked out into neutral so that we can rotate the spindle now it's really important to rotate the spindle end rather than the dti end because any slight amount of flex in the setup is going to affect the reading. So by rotating from the spindle, we're minimizing any of those errors. When I get somewhere near, I'm just going to check it on the other side. That's fine. I'm going to bring up to meet the zero. I'm just making sure that I'm about midway in the travel, so I've got plenty to go at either way. Now this is pretty much a brand new machine. The bed's in perfect condition. If the bed was dinged up a little bit or it hadn't been taken care of, then we'd be needing to put some parallels on the bed itself. As it stands, I'm just gonna take a measurement from the front of the bed here. So when I move it round, if this is even, I should get a reading of 2.2 on the other side as well. And that's pretty good actually, um, especially given the extra length of this arm. So I'm gonna check it one more time and then we'll lock it up using the four screws. So that's the process. It's essentially the same in either the X or the Y plane. We're just gonna maybe put a parallel, a longer parallel if we wanna use a long bar like this in the Y direction. There's plenty of other ways to do this. We have seen um, a perfectly valid way of doing it with just the standard DTI holder in a collet. That's absolutely fine. And there's some also some really nice um, milling head tramming gauges which you can buy or manufacture yourself. And there's a link up here showing you a video where you can do that for yourself. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, then click like and subscribe. We're now up to nearly 400 subscribers. We've got nearly 50,000 views on the channel. So hopefully um, you guys are liking this. So drop a note in the comments if you want to see more and do tell us what you want to see. See you next time.